So I know that you guys have only seen me walking short distances, but I'm gonna run a 5K and this is how. My beautiful internet friends, welcome back to my channel. I have a very exciting announcement for you guys today and for me. And I have my friend Jen here with me Hello. to walk us through it. Like when I had my invitation in the first place, one of the, the big goals that I had was to be able to run. And that's always been icing on the cake for me. Like I just wanted to be able to walk without being in significant pain. Yeah. But if I could ever run, that would be amazing. And um, as I've as this last surgery has gone really well, I've been able to walk more and more consistently and my movement's getting a little bit better. I feel like it's time to actually have a goal and commit to running a 5K. I don't have a, I don't have a deadline for that. We're um, going to we're going to play with a few things. We're going to we'll play with a few life. things yeah. and um, we're going to discuss how that's going to happen because Jen is fantastic <laughs> at all of this from nutrition to the actual running of it and I have no idea what I'm doing cuz I've never been able to run, so this is new territory. It'll so, thank you. <laughs> I'm super excited and super proud of you for getting to this point. So, Jen, tell me a little bit about what you do. I know you're a health coach, for yes. one, and yes. you're a crazy amazing runner. Oh, she does well, things that you. Brian and I just sit and stare ah. with our mouth wide open, like an ultra marathon I think you recently run. 100 miles. Yeah, why don't I start with 100 miles? I yep. started small, 5K, and just felt like I love the distance, it's kept, but they kept moving up. And yes. But I'm not going to the 200 miles. 100 miles is my cap. Okay, so we're, we're yes. good with that. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a holistic health coach. I work with looking at all areas of life, like relationships, job, your movement, and yes. you know what you're what you're looking at. Yeah. And really just creating a a healthy balance between all of those. For a normal person, for someone who has all. Uh, two of their meat legs. How long does it usually take someone to work up to a 5k if they weren't a runner before? Sure, you? sure. I say couch to 5k, mm -hmm. um, 12 to 14 weeks, okay. probably. An important piece of this is that I don't have a running leg. I can't, I can't safely run on sunshine here um, because the leg isn't made for sustained running. Like if my dogs got off leash, I need to sprint off after them. I could do that on this leg, but consistent running, it's not really made for. So I need a running blade. Those are so very expensive. They run, um, you know, to get the whole leg and the socket and everything, it can be well over 10000 maybe $20,000, but there are programs that actually grant you running blades, which is something that I'm shooting for, but they want you to have done a 5K and sometimes up to three 5Ks beforehand. Okay. So um, this will be hopefully part of yeah. actually getting me a running blade. So we're gonna start with walking a 5K. Yes. What do you think the goal should be like, time frame wise to walk that? Um, I think that if you're looking at, I mean, if we start say January 1, yes. right? Maybe end of March yeah. would be a okay. good time frame. Um, obviously, giving yourself grace if things yes. aren't going well, <laughs> like not being married to that idea of it has to be end of March. But I think that's a reasonable time okay. to get to that level, obviously. Um, listening to your body, yes. you know, and and we don't <laughs> want injuries or any of that, and we want to focus on strength training and that incorporating okay. too, so end of March, I think, might be what we'll look at. That sounds, I feel like that sounds doable because I've been able to do a little bit more mm -hmm. every week, mm -hmm. and you bring up strength training, I think mm -hmm. that's, that's interesting. Is that something that all runners do? Like, are you always strength training, at, like, your whole body, sure. or would that be more, I feel like that'd be more important as an amputee because your body is compensating. Mm -hmm. So I'll definitely focus on that. Yeah, um, I mean, there are a lot of different ways you look at it. Some sure. people think, yes. you know, just all you need to do is run. Because you're that, running. Okay. Right, and that might work for some people. But I think if you're balancing other areas that don't get worked while you're running, yes. a lot of hip work, a lot of glute work, a lot of core work. So from, let's say, your hips up to your um, shoulders, if you're working that to stabilize your movement, and as someone who um, you're working with a prosthetic, like yeah. the other leg is probably going to be compensating a little bit more. Yes. So we really want to build up those muscles. Okay. Nothing crazy though, maybe two to three days a week. Nutrition is a question that I've often wondered about. I don't eat terribly 
I also don't necessarily eat wonderfully. I think there's always room for improvement. <laughs> I think we all have a little yeah. bit of that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I know from your Instagram post and blog post that, <laughs> that nutrition is something that yeah. you're passionate about, I imagine. Mm -hmm. How important is that to this whole process in your mind? Yeah, huge, okay. huge. Definitely something you want to focus on. Okay. Um, incorporating, I'm primarily plant-based. Okay. That doesn't work for everyone. I believe in bioindividuality, yeah. like what works for you works for you. But I think there are a few staple foods that, I mean, incorporating veggies, fruits, oh, yeah. whole grains. Yes. Very anti-inflammatory food because your body's already working pretty hard. That would make sense. Yeah. Most important question. Is drinking coffee still a good uh, idea? Yes. All right, Please, then we're good. drink your coffee. <laughs> I mean, eat the ice cream, do all those things, what makes you feel happy. But yes. Just focus primarily on. Yes, so, that makes a lot of sense. But definitely drink your coffee. Yeah, good. We need okay. to be nice to people. Yeah, we do. <laughs> exactly. Something that I have as like a crazy goal in my head, I always thought it was kind of a crazy goal, was I'd love to be able to run a marathon one day for no other reason than to say <laughs> that I did it. Like to totally. check that box because totally. it's so far out of the range yeah. of anything I ever thought I would be capable of. Do you think that that's possible? Absolutely. Yeah, it sounds like Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's really cool. There have been people who've run 100 miles. Um, so. Totally. Yeah. You could do it. That's mind and I, blowing. And I think that just to check it off, that's an awesome reason. I wondered like, if that was enough awesome. reason. No, but like I'm like, I want to check that box. Totally. <laughs> that gives you that that encouragement that you knew you could do something that yeah. you didn't think you could do. Yes. You know, and it makes other things in life look a lot easier. Yeah. Because you knew, okay, that looks really hard and I did it. Yes. What else could I do that I didn't think I could do? I think uh, a good place to start would probably be to see how long I can actually walk totally. like outside on mm -hmm. not super even ground mm -hmm. without being in you know pain that I need to stop right. or anything like that. That's right. probably a good kind of baseline. Yeah, and I mean, you walk in the mall, you walk yes. in the grocery store, like yeah. you probably go further than you think you do. Yeah. So I'd be really excited for you to get out there and see actually how far you can go. You're gonna be so proud of yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah, there's nothing better than finishing or crossing that finish line. Yeah, yeah. I've oh. never done that. I started a 5K once, it was like for a cause, and I literally like walked maybe uh, I don't know, maybe a quarter mile. And I was like, nope, nope, nope. Turn around on my back because my ankle was bothering me. But I was like, I started the race. Hey, I mean, that's that's, that's the biggest part. Yes. Like starting the race. <laughs> so once you finish that race, you're gonna be so proud. Yeah. Yourself. Well, there's no time to start like the present. Hey, so yes, we're gonna go for a walk and see how far I can go. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> So how far, how far have we gone so gone far? 0.7. 0. 0.7 0. 0. miles? Yes. So we are getting close to that mile and here you were like, That's awesome. how far I can go. And this is like on, um, it's just treacherous. Just like terrain. Not easy. <laughs> I'm like slipping. So. Yeah. You're awesome. amazing. I think we might hit a mile. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That again, so how we far are, are we? 0.99. Ah, that's so awesome. You don't have to do circles around your house. That's perfect. I'm so proud of you. A mile now, we're at a mile. We're like, we're standing here, like we made it one, to a mile. The one step, we for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, see, and you didn't even know how far you could go. So, how long How long is it? Like, how long have we been walking? 26 for? minutes, okay, but it was really icy. 26 minute mile, yeah. Hey, I mean, it's a good baseline. I think so. <laughs> I would say it was more like an 18 minute mile. Yeah. It was icy. Without the and snowy. I'll take it. And we were chit chatting. I'll that, take like, it. <laughs> that slows you down. A little out of breath, but uh, <laughs> I'm still walking. So Doing great. We're, we're good. <laughs> we just got back. What is our grand total? 1.13. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. About half an hour. Some ice, some chatting. Yeah. Um, it's good. That's a really good baseline to have. Yeah. And I'll I'll keep up with kind of daily walking. Yeah. And I'm a lot of breath, so <clears throat> now you know what you can do. Yeah. <laughs> Deep breath. Get some water. Right. But yeah, now you know what you can do. Yeah. Just by starting out. That's awesome. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue the series and 
there, there's a, I believe that there's an app called Couch to 5K. I think I'm gonna call my series, you know, Amputation to 5K or something like that. You guys, you guys will figure out the series. <laughs> and I'm really excited to see where this goes. Yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. I love you, I'm thinking of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye, guys. Have her from the sky.